Mike. Today's big story, Donald Trump now has enough electoral college votes to clinch the White House. Here in Colorado, all of the nine, nine of our state's electoral votes went to Hillary Clinton. They were finally cast at 1245 today, but not before one elector broke ranks and had to be replaced. Garrity News Channel 13, Stephanie Sierra was there. She joins us live at the state capitol. And Stephanie, like other places in the country, today's votes didn't come without protest. Heather, Michael Baca, who is leading the fight to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president, was the only elector who refused to vote for Hillary Clinton. A couple hundred people lined up by the south entrance to the state capitol and filled the rotunda with signs protesting President-elect Donald Trump. Just like Baca, the protesters want the electoral system to change. But the people here say the movement against President-elect Trump may not change the outcome, but it will prove a point. There were also boos and calls against Colorado Secretary of State Wayne Williams, who says Baca's action directly go against the wishes of Coloradans. I am disappointed that he, within minutes of taking an oath that he would vote as required by Colorado law, chose not to. Um, and that's certainly an ability someone has. There are, there are possible repercussions with that. I'm pleased, though, that Colorado's nine electoral votes were cast as Colorado voters said they should be for Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. Protesters say this is just the beginning of their fight to change the electoral college system. That story, plus insight from political analysts, that's coming up on Cardio News Channel 13 at 5 o'clock. Live at the state capitol, Stephanie Sierra, Cardio News Channel 13. I guess it's fitting that our electoral cycle uh, ends with that kind of end. Thanks, Stephanie.